William and Kat have really, really, if I'm to say, kind of been processing things. Because trust me, you, they've done uh, so many things that people don't see any of their importance anymore. At the moment, they are the awaiting king and queen, to be precise. They are so much waiting to be the one seated on those particular thrones. And I remember stating these times and times again, these, there are things that William and Kate forget. That there is a lot beyond just being the king and queen. There is a marriage, there is a life, there are kids to take good care of. But then they are so much fixated or so much, their mentality is so much diverted on just wanting to be the king and queen. And that is something that probably will happen. But trust me, you, the marriage of light has been so much shunned. The marriage of light has been so much into Tartus and this is something that has spread all over and it's something that I bet we all can see from how they conduct themselves, from how they handle things, this whole thing will just make you understand. And the fact that there are some insiders who are leaking out information to do with, you know what, William and Kate are living in separate houses that also leaves us astonished and just with also a lot of questions about the same. William and Kate have flown to France for PR and apparently they have brought their son George but apparently William has gone to watch a rugby match with his son alone without Kat. Probably tomorrow Kat goes to watch a match alone without William and yet no separation rumors. Wow. They've just made the whole public like see what's 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 really them. Like they've made the whole public understand or have all the reasons just to kind of see or just conclude with the fact that you know what these people's marriage is not okay and there's one single mistake that william did and that was never going to support the lionesses up to date he's never called them just to kind of appreciate them or just kind of congratulate them for that fact up to date he hasn't made such a move and uh, he's so much comfortable because uh, he's made her see how misogynistic he is. Because trust me, you, he's just so much into supporting the male talent, the male sports, the male athletes. Bearing in mind, he is the president of the football club association, whereby you're supposed to be supporting whatever gender. You as a president, you're supposed to be doing what is right. But the fact that he is now out here going to support the rugby match or go watch, just go show his appearance there. Because there's one thing that we don't even have to debate about. These are people who are so much good in kind of creating the so-called thing they are. They want whenever they are somewhere, like they are noticed. And that's wrong. Do something that people will just learn or people will just see it without you even saying it. For example, we're speaking about a successful Invictus game that happened back in Dusseldorf. Harry and Meghan just did something that people are never going to forget. Harry and Meghan just brought about or just created such a nice atmosphere for the less privileged, for those who never saw future again from the severe injuries that they had. Trust me, you, it's going to be such a hectic process for the whales to kind of just make people or for them to be able to redeem themselves, just to be able to make us understand that they can lead us, that they can just make this world a better place. Because Ari and Megan, these are people who are, are, are globally known. Eh? You don't need to say what Harry and Megan have done. For kind of you to create or just bring about or just to make people know them. These people are so much known. And it's because of the positive impact that they've been. It's because of the things that they've been able to establish. The things that they've been able to accomplish. The foundations that they've been able to bring about. That's how Harry and Meghan are so much known. And trust me, you, these are people who have created such a very, very huge legacy that people won't stop about, people won't forget about today or tomorrow. This is something that is going to be continuous. 
the consistency the harry and megan have just shown us because ever since they left the uk trust me you like they've been able to accomplish a lot harry and megan have accomplished so much than what even the working royals themselves have been able to accomplish and that's one thing that probably pieces them so much because they can't withstand the fact that harry and megan are out here just getting full attention when harry says that he's making an appearance somewhere you'll see the multitude you'll see how people are going to turn out and what about the wells what about william and cat with them, they just come out for the sake of photo ops, for the sake of creating this so-called thing PR, forgetting that people are not stupid anymore. People are so much focused on what have you been able to do? What are you willing to do? Or what potential do you have to do next? Because at this particular moment, Charles himself, I'm so sure he's not sure or he doesn't feel the confidence eh, about his own son, his best son. Eh? if i'm to say because how we treated harry and how we treated william two different ways and at the moment i bet he's so much regretting his actions i bet he's so much regretting what he ever did because at the moment the son probably that he thought is going to be of so much positive impact is out here disappointing him ashaming him embarrassing him by doing nothing as an elder son, as the awaiting king. Either way, we are just there. There's nothing we can do about it. That's why day in, day out, people are just preaching and just spreading the whole story of abolishing the monarchy. Because people don't see their potential. People don't see their use. People don't see their need. Now imagine this whole scenario of William willing to create his humble time to go and support the rugby team. And this is not the first time. But wouldn't have been able to just spare a single time to kind of just support the lionesses. Whatever excuses he gave were so lame. And imagine I'm now turning out back on him because he gave out excuses to do with using aeroplanes and stuff yet it's so well much known that william and Kate use aeroplanes like an uber like a cap to them it's kind of that's their means of transport that they are so much used in but they still don't see that what drives them is the jealousy within them what drives them is the bitterness within themselves those are some of the things that drive them so much. And trust me, you, it's not going to work for them. Because wherever Harry and Meghan are at, and where William and Kate are at, they can never meet at any particular point. Whatever Harry and Meghan have been able to accomplish is way so much, huh? so, so very much, than what the world's. I don't know if the worlds have anything that they can come about and say that, you know what, we founded one, two, three things and here they are at the moment in progress and uh, we have potential, we've done this and we will do this and we can do this. I don't know if they have such things to say. That's one thing I don't know if they have, trust me, you. As for Harry and Megan, they have a lot and uh, we all out here can attest it's been such I, I i don't know if to call it a hectic time for the world because people no longer focus on them people no longer see their potential people are no longer driven by them at any particular point i don't know what they'll do i don't know how they'll do it for them to be able to redeem themselves especially william not forgetting his wife Cat, I don't know what are some of your thoughts over the same. Kindly just leave your comments down below. And that was our today's podcast. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next podcast. Bye.